Hi, I'm Brian. This is my uh, 7x14 tool trailer uh, inspired by Ron Polk's previous trailer, his awesome rolling toolbox, and I wanted to show you a little tour since this is as clean as it ever gets. Uh, I'm still working on it a little bit, but uh, uh, it's at least at a good point I can show you what it looks like. So I mostly uh, flip houses. I'm a real estate developer and agent and contractor. I do a little bit of of contracting and, and carpentry for other people, but mostly it's my own work, my own houses. Um, so I don't have the big workbenches that Ron has, the uh, the mobile, uh, the pulp total station or whatever, because most of what I do is in houses that I own. So I like to be able to roll my saws into whatever room I'm working on, whether I'm doing trim, uh, flooring, whatever. I like to just have them on wheels, roll them, set them up as close to the project as possible. Um, I rarely work out of garages because I've, I got the houses so I can work from inside and clean it up later. I'm not working in, in houses that we want to keep clean uh, for somebody else. It's We clean it at the end. Um, so that's why I have a rolling table saw and a rolling miter saw. Uh, it doesn't make much sense to have those stations. Um, my workbench right now is pretty open, but I'm going to do uh, a line of butaners along the back. I'm going to put it in a little shelf there. Uh, I've got about 10, 15 that'll go there and, and get rid of some of my loose fasteners. So my my boxes, my drawers are these plastic tubs. Um, I didn't want to take the time to build the, the wooden boxes. I probably will at some point, um, but these have worked great for the last nine months that I've had this trailer. Um, they're held in with these bungee cords. So if I want to... You know, these will hold them in fairly well. I've actually never had one of these slip out of here during a trip, even though, you know, these are bungee cords. They'll pull out about this far and then the bungee cord stops them. But if I want to pull them out completely, I can just pop that underneath and pull this out. Obviously, I'm not as organized as Ron is, uh, though it's, you know, better organized than a lot of tool trailers I see. I have all of my sockets here, both for the uh, impact wrench and my normal socket sets, um, a lot of crescent wrenches, screwdrivers, I like to have them out where I can see them. Uh, I do have some more in a box here, but mostly they're all out here. Um, pencils, things like that. I keep my main driver and my main drill up here so I can grab them quickly. Hammers, most of them are out here. I have some sledgehammers and things in a long drawer. Um, eight foot deep uh, cubby on the left for paint poles, a long straight edge and a long level. Uh, demo stuff is in this drawer, which is eight feet long and pulls all the way out. It's just held in there with friction. Obviously it's not going anywhere. I've got more levels up here. Um, they have stops in them so they don't go any deeper than they should for the most part. Track saw track, uh, another straight edge, another clamp, a fish pole for electrical squares. Um, I like. I don't know why I have my uh, drywall tools here, my, my cutout tool there. Uh, it's just a handy place to put some bigger things. Um, mostly air tools on this side. As you can see, it's kind of cantilevered out, so I don't want to put super heavy tools in there. Um, it has held together pretty well for the last nine months, but uh, um, most of the time I'm not doing a whole lot of driving. I drive this to this job site and I leave it there for weeks at a time. Um, we have a locked storage unit we put it in. For the most part but uh, when we have an active project we like to keep it on site rollers and brushes for painting router table since we work on old houses where you restore old houses i like to have my router table i like to be able to uh, to match some of the profiles of old trim and stuff like that um, the drill press i've never actually used the bandsaw or you know on a site from the tra trailer but the bandsaw i have used for some small cuts and i've got a little flooring saw that i use a lot so that i can uh, just keep it on the floor with me when I'm doing flooring and uh, and not have to go back and forth to a miter saw. Um, I have some supplies on here. I don't really keep any liquid supplies on here because I'm in Minnesota and uh, it freezes and I'll show you right now what it looks like here. So uh, <laughs> it doesn't make much sense to keep anything liquid on the trailer. It'll freeze overnight for six months out of the year. Chargers. Um, I had an air hose system built in that I put in. Um, I've not been very happy with it. As you can see, it broke off here. Uh, and 
honestly, the only times that it's been free for me to work on has been during cold periods, uh, and I've not been able to get these fittings to really hold tight. So I'm probably going to replace that with something else. So I've got uh, another little uh, kind of a small table saw that I like to use. Bulldog is in there, saws all in there. Um, this planer I actually use more frequently than you would think, so I like to have it on the trailer. Paint sprayer. Uh, these are where all my jigs go. Pocket hole jig, crown molding jig. Uh, dovetailer, I haven't used that a whole lot, but I like to have it anyway, just in case. Uh, different uh, jig saws, uh, track saw, different circular saws. I, I bought this cheap Shop Fox track saw to see if I liked it, and I love it, so I'm gonna buy a Festool now. Uh, flooring tools down there. Uh, uh, flooring nailer and then also carpet stretcher and some other miscellaneous things vacuums I have you know obviously the shop vac I've got another dust collector over there and my uh, sweeper for you know when we're cleaning up a house for the final showings and, and to put it on the market um, I don't have so I, I originally was gonna have my air compressor just kind of wired or you know permanently in here and then run a hose out but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for what we do so I've not this is on a switch, but I've not really uh, done anything with it to, to run the air hoses out. Most of the time, it makes a lot more sense to bring my little air compressors in, so I've got two of them, uh, and just bring them into the site. Most of this, uh, you know, sanders are up here. Some little tile tools. I've got a big tile saw that I walk in, but this little one is for, you know, doing small pieces here and there, and then obviously a tile cracker, and banjo for drywall work. I've got flat boxes for drywall that are all in there and then the poles are in with the brooms um, obviously framing nailer some drywall stilts uh, miscellaneous drywall stuff uh, mostly what we do is finish work I do some framing but um, now the side door I, I really wish I bought a trailer without a side door now uh, it, this is just a wasted space I'd really like to be able to put a cabinet there to hold some of this stuff but yeah, it, uh, we've got uh, tile tools in, in one of the rolling things. Those just roll out and roll in. Um, we've got two ladders here. I'm in the process of putting a ladder rack on the top for my bigger ladders. So, you know, overall I'm super happy with this trailer. I think it works great. Uh, and I've taken a lot of clues from uh, what Ron Polk has done with his trailers. And his new one is really cool. Uh, his old one is kind of when I started working on this was when he had that so I've kind of followed that uh, that template a little bit like I said this is a 7 by 14 about 6 inches of extra ceiling height so it's 6 foot 6 tandem axle uh, it's an H&H &H trailer made out of Iowa it's been really great pulls fantastic um, I have a F-350 that I pull it with I uh, get about 16 miles per the gallon pulling this. It weighs a little under 5,000 pounds. I had it weighed. Uh, the tongue weight is about 15% of the gross, so it's a little heavy. But uh, I think when I get my, if I'm pulling long distances, I usually have tile saw and materials and things like that. So I can load them fairly far back and it'll be balanced out just fine.